On Thingiverse, I found this Christmas tree ornament shaped like a Death Star, created by user Plain Old Dave. This was really cool looking. But he did it in three pieces, and he made it so you could actually put LEDs inside, and I just didn't have time to do all that. And what I really wanted to do is just print one piece, not two or three pieces. Because I tried it at first, and they didn't exactly fit together perfectly because I got a little bit of warping. So I decided just to combine them all into one, and I brought those into Tinkercad to do it. So I brought the bottom piece and the top piece into Tinkercad. I just imported their STL files. I really didn't need the middle section, so I didn't use it. And then I just aligned them with the Align tool in both the X and Y direction. And as I looked around it, it looked really good. I didn't see any overhang. They seemed to fit perfectly together. So I was ready to group them together and make them into one solid file. So I grabbed the two files, hit group, and now I had my solid Death Star ornament. So now I needed to just export this as a .stl file so I could 3D print it. So I went to design, download for 3D printing, selected .stl, and it downloaded the file. I loaded the file into Repetier and realized it was too big. I needed to downsize it. So I used the scale tool and set it at 60% and that worked out perfect. So from there, I needed to slice it. So I selected the Cura engine and I selected a 0.2 millimeter layer height. I used a raft and also supports only where it was touching the bed, but it made these side supports that actually uh, supported the whole ball from falling over. As you can see, here's the finished product. What I didn't notice until too late, it was 14 hours to print this. I probably should have hollowed this out beforehand, but I was so excited to get this going. I started printing it and then realized <laughs> 14 hours. And here's a time lapse of it printing. I used a red ABS from a leftover XYZ printing cartridge. And if you look closely, you can see the sunlight come in on this thing and then disappear just to show this thing was printing all day. But it was printing so good, I just, I just let it go. And in the end, it looked fantastic. I've been asked to try out PET G filament. And I found some at the Micro Center in this really cool translucent reddish pinkish color. This would have looked great for the ornament, but I couldn't get it to print properly. It was really sticky and it was sticking to the nozzle and it actually caused the print to shift as you can see here on the Fabricator Mini. On the Reflash Da Vinci I tried it and it was just coming out stringy. Those are the back two. So neither one really worked perfect. I'm going to have to figure something out. Now I printed these at 0.2 layer height, I might try a higher layer height of 0.3, see if that helps at all, but I couldn't get it done for Filament Friday. But I'm going to keep working at it. And here it is, the finished Death Star Christmas ornament. After removing all the nerds and the support and everything, I got a little bit of splitting as it cooled, but it's right along one of the lines, so it's hardly noticeable. This came out really nice, I'm really happy with it. I want to try different plastics. I want to get that PET-G going. I might try it in some PLA too, but this is a fun print. So I added a hook, so now I just need to hang it from the tree. And now, the Christmas tree. Charlie Brown Christmas tree. There we go. Death Star hanging on the Charlie Brown Christmas tree. If you like this video, Give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. That way I know you're watching and you want to see more. And if you want to help support the channel, link up here to my Patreon account. Dollar goes a long way. So, that's it. Time to head out with a little Charlie Brown music and dancing. Charlie Brown style. See you next time.